A new decade is upon us. With electrification and stricter emission laws being the talk of town, there's still some fantastic cars expected to be launched in 2020. From electric cars, super SUVs, luxury saloon cars, and even hypercars, 2020 should be an unforgettable year for the automotive industry. So let's run through our top 20 most anticipated cars coming in the next year. Number 20 on our list is the Ferrari Roma. Roma. Now this is a special word that relates to the magical capital city of Italy, Rome. With 272 litres of boot space, the Ferrari Roma aims to tap into a new customer base for Ferrari and compete with the likes of the Aston Martin Vantage and the Porsche 911. With an uprated 3.9 litre twin turbocharged V8 engine from the Ferrari Portofino, Ferrari are normally the kings of sports cars, so we're sure the Roma will be an absolute hit. Number 19 on our list is the Maserati Alfieri. Now this Gran Turismo replacement is imminent in 2020 and if Maserati can inject one ounce of soul that was in the Gran Turismo into this new Alfieri then no doubt will it be a success. Maserati are planning on producing hybrid and fully electrified versions of the Alfieri so no doubt will it reinvigorate the brand. The new Aston Martin Vantage Roadster makes it to 18th on our list. Set to make its debut in spring 2020, the new Vantage Roadster is certainly a looker. It retains the low wide stance that we love from the Vantage Coupe and it maintains the same 4 litre German sourced AMG V8 twin turbo engine. It's set to rival the Audi RX Spider and the Porsche 911 Cabriolet and expect an 8% premium over the coupe variant. Number 17 on our list is the new Bentley Flying Spur. How about this for headline stat? Faster than any Mercedes-Benz S-Class ever made. With 626 horsepower from its W12 engine and a top speed of 207 miles an hour, Bentley have gone above and beyond to make sure the new Flying Spur is the ultimate driver's saloon car. With an added 130 millimeters uh, longer wheelbase, the new Flying Spur is the perfect car to drive and to be driven in. Number 16 on our list is the new McLaren GT. Not another new McLaren we're here, you say, but hang on, hang on. This might just be the most usable supercar you can buy today. And before you think this is a rebodied McLaren 570 GT, it's not. This is an all new car from the ground up. The McLaren GT features 570 litres of boot space, which is more than the Ford Focus. The ride height has also been raised to give you that extra ground clearance and the interior has been given a complete overhaul. If you want a supercar that does it all, then look no further. 15th on our list is the new baby Rolls Royce, the Ghost. Caught testing around the Nürburgring, the Rolls-Royce Ghost will predictably use the new Phantom and Cullinan's platform. Launched in 2010, the Ghost is overdue a facelift and it's one of our best selling cars here at Romans International. So we hope the Ghost will pick up where the old one left off. Coming in at 14 on our list is the McLaren Elva. More powerful than a Senna, the lightest production car McLaren have ever made and their first open cockpit car are some of the raw ingredients that make up McLaren's new Ultimate Series hypercar. Taking a leaf out of Ferrari's book with the Monza SP1 and SP2 and the McLaren Mercedes SLR Sterling Moss, McLaren are only making 399 of the McLaren Elvers. List price will be £1.425 million and we hope one day, fingers crossed, we'll have one in our showroom. 
Number 13 on our list is the new Bentley Continental GT V8. Sweet spot. These two words sum up the GT V8 because it's the perfect all-rounder in the Continental GT range. Like the previous generation, Bentley have dropped the big heavy W12 engine and in favour of a lighter 4 litre twin turbocharged V8 engine. Overall the car is 50 kilograms lighter and is a much more engaging car to drive. Number 12 on our list is the brand new Porsche Taycan Turbo S. Meet the world's best electric car. Not our words, but words of hugely respective automotive journalists, which is high praise, bearing in mind this is Porsche's first crack at the whip. Three model variants are available for the Taycan, starting with the Taycan 4S, with prices starting at £83,000, the Taycan Turbo, with prices at £115,000, and the full fat Turbo S at £138,000. If you want performance, then go for the Turbo S as it comes with 751 brake horsepower and does 0 to 60 in a pulverizing 2.6 seconds. No doubt we'll definitely have a Taycan Turbo S in our showroom in the near future. Number 11 on our list is the Ferrari F8 Tributo, a 408 pista for the masses. Ferrari's latest supercar is the 488 GTB's replacement and as the Tributo name suggests, this car is a tribute to Ferrari's award-winning twin turbocharged V8 engines. The Tributo comes with the 488 Pista's stunning V8 engine but Ferrari have wrapped it in an all new body, an all new interior and voila you have a recipe for one of the best selling Ferraris. Breaking into the top 10 is the Aston Martin DBX, Aston Martin's saviour. We all love Aston Martin, it makes you proud to be British and it's a firm that's been voted in the top 5 of the world's coolest brands which is very impressive bearing in mind this is a car manufacturer. It's been tough times for Aston Martin as the car has had falling stock values after being floated over a year ago. With the world going SUV mad with the rise of super SUVs like the Lamborghini Urus, the Bentley Bentayga and the Rolls-Royce Cullinan, Aston really need the DBX to revive their brand. With prices starting at £158,000, we're sure the new DBX will sell like hotcakes. Number 9 on our list is the Ferrari 812 GTS. Meet Maranello's latest drop top. Essentially an 812 superfast convertible, the GTS features the 6.5 litre unadulterated naturally aspirated V12 engine making 780 brake horsepower. Ferrari claim this is their first volume production front mounted V12 Spider since the Daytona Spider. However, it might be a little bit confusing if you look back at Ferrari's limited run uh, special cars like the 599 SA Aperta, like the 575 Super America and the 550 Barchetta. But rest assured, the 812 GTS will be the perfect summer cruiser. Number 8 on our list is the Mercedes AMG GTR Black Series. The return of the mighty Black Series. Caught testing around the Nürburgring, this car means business. It looks like it's taking cues from the AMG GTR GT3 race car and let's start with that rear wing. As rear wings go, this rear wing looks mightily impressive with its double layer design. We're really, really excited to see more developments in this car and rest assured we will definitely have one here at our showroom. Coming in at number 7 on our list is the Porsche 992 GT3, the sports car benchmark. Will it be turbocharged? 
Will the emission regulations be too restrictive and the sound quality won't be as good? Will it have a manual gearbox? Will it still tingle and buzz as previous generation GT3s? All these questions are yet to be answered, but there hasn't been a bad GT3 since the very first one. So really, we can't wait to get up close to this new 992 GT3. And from inspection of the Nürburgring pictures, the car looks very, very special. Number six on our list is the new Land Rover Defender. The Defender is back better and stronger than ever before. With a new chassis, new dimensions, new engine, new interior and new technology features, the Defender is now a 4x4 ready for the 21st century. There will be two model variants available with the new Defender, with the 110 with prices starting at £45,000 and the 90 starting at £40,000. You can get a commercial Defender which is £35,000 plus fat. Overall, this is going to be a very hot car in 2020. Breaking into the top five on our list is the Porsche Cayman GT4 RS. Just like you, when we saw the images of the car going around the Nürburgring and we saw the RS badge, which stands for Rennsport, next to the GT4 name, we were very, very excited. Is this too good to be true? A GT4 RS with more aero, more power and possibly a manual gearbox. If you look at the front, the car features the knacker ducts straight from the GT3 RS. All in all, we're very, very excited to see what Porsche come up with and no doubt next year this will be a hotly anticipated car. Number four on our list is the McLaren Speedtail. This car was designed to be the successor to the legendary McLaren F1. In particular, it was designed to beat the F1's top speed of 241 miles per hour. The Speedtail would do an incredible 250 miles per hour. But here's an incredible statistic. The Speedtail will accelerate from 0 to 186 miles per hour in just 12.8 seconds. It's got 1,036 horsepower and will cost a cool 1.75 million pounds. McLaren will only produce 106 examples to match the exact production of the McLaren F1. Breaking onto the podium on our top three spot is the Aston Martin Valkyrie. This is a hugely significant car for the automotive industry as this car sets to redefine what's possible aerodynamically and the term hypercar. Designed by F1 legend Adrian Newey, the man responsible for Red Bull F1's championship success, the Valkyrie comes with a 6.5 litre naturally aspirated V12 made by Cosworth, mated to an electric motor and it produces a combined output of 1160 brake horsepower. One of the highlight stats of the Valkyrie is it revs all the way to 11,100 RPM, which is just F1 levels of sound. Overall, the Valkyrie will be the track day king. Taking the runner-up spot on our list is the new Audi RS6 Avant one of our personal favourites here at Romans International. The current generation has been one of our best selling cars and the new car is going to be an absolute hit. With new styling, a new mild hybrid system, all new interior, new tech, overall the RS6 looks like a step on from the current generation. There's three models available on the RS6. You have the standard car, you have the carbon black edition, and then you have the Vorsprung edition. Overall, the RS6 will be an absolute hit. Taking the top step on our list is the Ferrari SF90 Stradale, the fastest series production Ferrari ever made. 
This car was built to celebrate 90 years of Scuderia Ferrari, hence the term SF90, and it's the first plug-in hybrid Ferrari have ever made. This car is faster than a LaFerrari, partly thanks to its all-wheel drive system, and this car comes with 986 brake horsepower thanks to its 4-litre twin-turbocharged V8 engine, which is new for this car. This is the first Ferrari that will keep your neighbours happy, as it's one you can drive on pure electric, and it even has a qualifying mode when you're on the racetrack. There's two models available with the SF90 Stradale, the standard car and the lighter version called the Asserto Fiorano. We certainly cannot wait to have this car in our showroom. So guys, that's it. That's our list of the top 20 cars we're most looking forward to in 2020. I know there's a few cars we left out there in the list, including the Mercedes AMG Project One, which is due to technical issues and the delivery dates aren't quite confirmed yet. But please let us know if you think we've missed out any cars and hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe and we we'll see you again soon. Thank you.